spring football is back, and it's back in Michigan as the St. Louis Battle Hawks are at Ford Field in Detroit to take on the Michigan Panthers. High snap, McCarron under pressure, down he goes. Breland Speaks is a guy, he's a big defensive end, and he can rush the passer. He goes with a nice twist, and when you leave Wayne Gallman, the running back, to block a guy like Breland Speaks, he's going to break through every single time and make a play. Nice job of getting rid of that running back and then jumping on the back of A.J. McCarron. The Edling is prepared to play if he needs to. Perry to the air on first down, and that one is intercepted, picked off by Mike Rose. And Rose upended near the 45-yard line all over. You can see Rose, the outside linebacker number 27, standing on the hash. He's eyeing the quarterback the entire time. Of where he made the pick, saying he was touched down there, so it's first down. A little end around now for Blake Jackson. Jackson up the sideline and out of bounds across the 45-yard line. Jacob Saylor's the running back. Play action. McCarron in trouble, and down he goes. Kind of Kua got him. On the right side of your screen, but he comes a little bit from depth, and so the offensive line never recognizes it. The running back doesn't. Third and three. Four-man rush. McCarron's pass tipped at the line and incomplete. First down and 10 at the 48. Play action. Perry with time. Surveying the field. That pass was tipped, and it still finds Devin Ross. Down the sideline. Inside the 10. First and goal, Panthers. And it's first and goal for the Panthers. Perry on the run into traffic, and it's intercepted off the deflection. Quinterio Cole with the pick. The tip in the end zone right into the lap of Quinterio Cole. And all the newness, all the new players and new positions, he said he was most excited to see the Battle Hawks secondary. McCarron, quick toss, that's Hakeem Butler, the tight end, and Butler with a punishing run after catch. Second and ten. McCarron to the sideline, a tiptoe for Marcel Aitman, and that's a catch. Goldman has a hole across the 40. He's got a first down inside the 35. Now watch the right tackle on this play, number 73, Bushel Beatty. He gets up on that linebacker, covers him up, and he's the block that springs Gallman to make sure he picks up the yardage. 36-yard try for Schmidt. Snap is good. Hold is good. The kick is good. And halftime arrives. We have points on the board in the Battle Hawks. Take a 3-0 lead into the locker room. Perry loves to get the ball to. Backside pressure. Perry gets away from it, and he throws a strike to Trey Quinn. From the 23 on first down. Off the play fake. Perry looking deep down the sideline, and he connects with Marcus Sims into Battle Hawks territory. They'll mark him down at the 47. He goes on the go route, but he takes an inside release, and he fights to try to get back outside, but somehow that ball is able to fit in there before the safety gets there on an inside grab. A very nice job by number nine in maroon, Marcus Sims. Quinn in motion. Five-man rush, Perry over the middle. He's got Cole Hicatini. Hicatini on the run. Inside the 10, first and goal, Michigan. He's going to come into your screen here just on a slant route. Gets in between the two linebackers and a hands catch. And then the yak. Yards after catch. A big play for this Michigan offense. 41 <laughs> yards to Cole Hicatini. On second and goal. Quarterback draw, not enough guys in the box. There it is, Perry on the draw to the goal line. Touchdown, Panthers! Get into that empty situation. You can see five offensive linemen, and Perry makes six. Well, they have all their defenders outside. Only four rushers you can get in the end zone. It's just from the top. You can throw a slant right behind those linebackers. Colbert on the key, plunging in for the extra point. On an eight play, 93 yard drive. Who said this was a defensive game? All about the offense now. Motion down there from Jackson. McCarron with time, checks it short. This is Sailors out of the backfield. He's got a first down and more into Panther territory. McCarron 
Pressure coming late. He throws and it's caught by the tight end Sutherland. Down the sideline and out of bounds. And on fourth down, up the middle, Goldman won't get there. Walter Palmore shuts the door on Wayne Goldman. He has to do a better job of posting up and stopping the defensive lineman from getting across the face. Battle Hawks absolutely have to get a stop defensively. Perry with backside pressure, he's in trouble and down he goes, it's Feeney. Nice job by Travis Feeney to the bottom of your screen right here. He just goes speed, breaks the hands down and right around the Perry. Very nice job of slow planks, kind of like a wide receiver at the line of scrimmage versus the defensive back. Third 12. Good protection, McCarron with time, over the middle, finds an open man. Did he give up the first down? Jamarcus Bradley came back. 180, one Play action. McCarron, all day to throw. Nobody open. McCarron trying to buy time. He's in trouble. McCarron on the run. Sets and throws. Caught! It's Darius Shepard at the five. First and goal, St. Louis. No idea where the quarterback's going. Look where he came from. He's on the other side of the field. He goes across. He has to fight through traffic. He goes back. He goes down. Okay, okay. Where's AJ? Are we going that way? Okay, I go left. Okay, no, I gotta go right. Gotta go right. AJ's going right. And he gets the ball and drags both feet. Off the play fake. McCarron throws it short. Got his tight end. Touchdown. Jake Sutherland and the Battle Hawks on top. See Sutherland, he's on the right of your screen, number 84. He's going to slide underneath, and he gets lost. And A.J. McCarron has the easiest throw of the day. Rolling left, toss the ball to 84 in silver. Hard not to pay attention when you've got so much All motion the going, going the other going direction. The right. McCarron for two. Directing traffic, scrambling to his left, throws for the goal line incomplete. They showed him multiple different coverages, and I look for them to do that again here. Here's Wes Hills with a blocker in front, and another terrific run by Hills. Look at number 61, Noah Johnson. Watch him get out in the front and run. Just run. I mean, is he the same speed as Wes Hills? <laughs> and then dives to try to make a block. Outstanding job by the great center, number 61. No. Run the ball. He'll try again. Hills, more room, chugging his way to the outside. Hills inside the 20 and down near the 15. He's lined up to the right of the screen. He could get down the field in a mess pattern. Looking in that direction, not open. Perry will run instead. Picks his way forward, and Perry into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the day. Zigging and zagging around Willie Harvey. But you can see that the Battle Hawks are going to create a three over two scenario where they have two guys on the Katini, one on the running back. He pulls Pulls it down and uses those legs that help him get the job in the first place. Perry backpedaling throws two points on the board. Devin Ross for two from the 29, fourth and 10. McCarron stepping up, looking for the end zone jump of a leaping grab. Marcel Aitman inside the five. First and goal, Battle Hawks. Marcel Aitman. Give me that. And now first and goal. McCarron to throw. Pressure comes for the end zone. Leaping up to get it. Did he get his feet in? No. Goldman with the carry. Knifing in is Nakua. It stays with McCarron on third and goal. Looking. Dancing. Trying to buy time. McCarron throws. And it is at the goal line incomplete. Obvious opportunity for a jump ball in the middle of the end zone. McCarron looks the other direction, throws to the goal line, across for the touchdown. Marcel Aitman ties it at 15. It has to be a perfect throw and a perfect route. A comeback this down, down this close doesn't usually work. He goes comeback for the defensive back. There's no reason to back up. There's nowhere for him to go. He backs up and a nice job of snapping down and racing back to the pylon and a perfect throw by A.J. McCarron. McCarron, there it is. Comes back the other way and there's the lead. Jake Sutherland with the conversion and the Battle Hawks up one. 
four-man rush. Swing and Colburn with a nice one-handed catch. Fourth down and six. Got man-to-man -man coverage. A wobbler, but it's caught. First down, Michigan. They are going to five-man rush. Perry throws, looking for Colburn. That pressure got to Perry a little bit, Devin, and now fourth down. 64-yard try for the lead. Good snap, good hold, line drive, kick, and it is good! <laughs> A star is born in the UFL. Jake Bates, 64 yards. Clutch for the Panthers. I mean, the snap, the hold, and the booming kick is perfect. I think you said it perfectly. A star is born. Let's see, heart rate. About 200 right now for Bates. The squib kick, bounding along. Picked up at the 30-yard line. Shepard looking for running room. Shepard, the clock is at zero. And the Michigan Panthers rip victory from the jaws of defeat. Thanks to a 64-yard field goal from Jake Bates.